Filling, and this is Backstage.com. Coming off of playing Captain Mal um, and getting a part like Rick Castle, what was uh, what was that like to see that you would, uh, would no longer be so strongly associated with just one character? I don't really think about it in those terms as to uh, who I'm being identified with. I just think of it in, in terms of am I doing a good job? Um, am I enjoying myself? And am I uh, telling stories and entertaining? And I think I'm doing that. I'm, I'm having a good time. You went from uh, yeah, being on a series that was loved by a lot of people, um, then you know, doing a lot of other work, and now back on a series again. Um, what do you find that you prefer, film work or television work? Doing a film is a very compressed experience. You can you can pour your energy into it 110 percent, and you can always see that there will be an end. In three months, you'll be done. In four months, you'll be done. Independent film, in six weeks, you'll be done. Uh, uh, Dr. Horrible, in six days, you'll be done. It's, it's, it's nice to have that kind of compressed experience um, that you can really go all out. Whereas in a series, you get to invest over time. There are, there are times you still have to put in that 110%, but uh, God willing, there, there's no end in sight. Um, so you get to know a character, and, and characters begin to take on a life of their own as they as they experience things. Uh, um, I, I've watched it happen on my own show. Uh, if you watch uh, Esposito and Ryan, those two characters uh, were, were different in the beginning, but they've shaped them into very specific individuals with very specific qualities and characteristics, and I think that happens over time. As the actor, how much... How much pull do you get in shaping the character versus the what the writers have? The words are always the writers. The choices, I believe, belong to the actor. Uh, someone told me once, making choices is easy. Making the right choices is hard. Uh, I try to be conscious of my choices. I try not to be obvious in my choices. Uh, I have, the one example I'm thinking of is uh, it was scripted that uh, Ca uh, Castle's mother was talking about something about her love life and his comment was ew and I simply said ew anyway uh, rather than being disgusted and absolutely which, which the director was I think looking for and I said that's the obvious choice but I don't want to have a, a relationship with my mother where I'm actually offended and don't want to think about it. she's a human being she's obviously beautiful she's still a sexual person and uh, I think that's part of her that makes her lovely and as, a, as her son I accept that entirely just give a little nudge and a wink to maybe I don't want to hear it but um, the choices I think belong to the actor and I think they have to be conscious of, of, of what they're putting out there I think there are a lot of obvious choices when you see things in print